This week we're going to take a look at the per preset layout. Now that title can be a little confusing because each preset is different. So how does one layout cover all those presets? The per preset layout is the sixth layout on the Axe FX3 and FM3 and the seventh layout on the FM9. If you missed the prior videos on layouts, I'll put links in the description. For this video, I'm going to use the Axe FX3 and the FC6, but it's the same layout on all three units. Well, pretty much the same. Okay, open your editor and click on FC Edit. Now click on Layout 6 or Layout 7 if you're on the FM9. So how does one layout cover every preset? Well, that was kind of a trick question because if you look at the per preset layout, it looks blank. But if you look at the tap and hold functions for each switch, they are defined as per preset 1 through per preset 24. So the per preset layout is basically an empty canvas waiting for you to decide what you want to paint. We'll get to that in a minute. If you're happy with how you get around using the foot switches and you're mostly using the presets, scenes, and effects layouts, then the per preset layout probably won't interest you. And honestly guys, I'm in that camp. I don't play out currently, so I don't need to have the layouts tailored to my presets. But if you do gig, or if you just like tinkering and trying to get as many functions as possible in one layout, the per preset layout may just be the thing you've been looking for. Now there are some guys that only use the per preset layout. The other layouts that I mentioned are global, meaning that they work the same way for every preset. The per preset layout is something that you create for your presets. The per preset layout has 24 per preset switches, but you can only use a maximum of 12 on any one unit. That means one view on the FC12, two views on the FC6, and four views on the FM3. The FM9 has two views, but view one has six switches, and view two has three switches, plus a switch to get back to view one. Now click on the FC per preset button. There are 24 potential per preset switches that can be defined. How does that work with only 12 switches available per unit? Well, you could have two FC6s connected, or two FC12s, etc. You can set up per preset switches 1 through 12 on one unit and per preset switches 13 through 24 on the other unit. Also, keep in mind that there are tap and hold functions available for every foot switch. So you can have 48 potential foot switch functions if you have enough foot controllers. 48 not enough? <laughs> okay, there are some foot switch functions that allow two taps and two holes, which gives you more than 48 possible foot switch functions. And the kicker is that you can set this up completely different for every preset. <laughs> now, of course, the flip side is that you have to set this up for every preset that you plan on using. Now, you can set up your unit so that it powers up in the per preset layout, and then you can stay out that layout with the ability to change presets, scenes, effects, etc. It is a much more efficient use of the foot switches, especially for you gigging guys. Now, I did do a video on this two years ago, but I think it could use a reboot. I'm going to use some of the same concepts though. I put together two presets for this video, per preset 1 and per preset 2. Neither one has per preset switches assigned yet, so let's go ahead and do that to the first preset. This preset is using the drive, chorus, amp, cab, delay, and reverb blocks, in addition to the in and out blocks. Preset number 1 has four scenes, and each scene uses different channels in each block. Scene 1 uses channel A in all blocks, scene 2 uses channel B, and so on. If we wanted to, we could just use the scene layout to go from scene to scene. But let's take a look at what we can do using the per preset switches. Once again, click on the FC per preset button. Now this will be our first example of how you can do your own programming in the editor. And if you need to, hit pause, take a break, Go play some guitar, take a walk or something. This doesn't get necessarily deep, but it might be an awful lot to swallow in one chunk. So anyway, if you need to take a break, take a break. I'll be here. Otherwise, let's go on. Since this preset is using four scenes, we'll use PP number one to switch scenes. The tap category is scene. The function is toggle. Primary scene is number one. Secondary scene is number two. That means you'll be able to use the first foot switch to toggle between scenes one and two just by tapping on it. 
The hold category is also scene. The function is toggle. The primary scene is three and the secondary scene is four. This means that you'll be able to use the first foot switch to toggle between scenes three and four just by doing long presses on it. So you start out on scene one, then a tap brings you to scene two. A long press brings you to scene three and another long press brings you to scene four. Another tap brings you back to scene one. So you can use four foot switches in the scene layout or one foot switch in your per preset layout. Not bad. So I've set up per preset number two to work with the drive block. The tap category is effect and the function is bypass. Effect is drive one. The hold category is also effect and the function is channel toggle. Primary channel is A and the secondary channel is B. This means that you'll be able to use the second foot switch to turn the drive block on and off by tapping on it and you can switch the drive block channels from A to B just by doing long presses on it. And again, all this from one foot switch. Now I'm going to set up the next three foot switches just like per preset number two. The easy way to do that is to right click on a per preset switch that you want to copy and choose copy switch. Then right click on PP number three and choose paste switch. Do the same thing for PP number four as well as PP number five. I went back to per preset number three and changed effect from drive one to chorus one. I went to per preset number four and changed effect to delay one. And then for per preset switch five, I chose reverb one for the effect. At this point, we have scenes one through four on switch one, followed by drive on off on switch two, chorus on off on switch three, delay on off on switch four, and reverb on off on switch five. If you're using an FC12, you could simply add six more effect switches, plus switch number 12 would be for preset up and down. I'm using an FC6 attached to my Axe FX3, so if I wanted to add more effect switches, that would mean per preset number six would look like this. Tap category is view, function is select, and view is view two. Hold category is view, function is select, and view is view one. Tapping on this switch will bring you to view two, where you can set up six more switches. A long press will bring you back to view one. But I'm happy using just one view, so I'll set up the sixth foot switch for preset up and down. To set it up, we do this. Tap category is preset. Function is ink slash deck. Increment decrement is plus one. Wrap is wrap. Lower limit is zero, zero, zero. Upper limit is 511. Hold category is preset. Function is ink slash deck. Increment slash decrement is minus one. Wrap is set to wrap. Lower limit is 000, upper limit is 511. Now that may sound confusing, but all it means is that you can go up one preset by tapping on the six foot switch, and you can go down one preset by doing a long hold on the six foot switch. At this point, we have all six foot switches set up the way we want. So you need to save the preset. The foot switch assignments get directly tied to your preset. Okay, let's try this preset out. Let's go through the scenes. Here's scene one. Here's scene two. Here's scene three. And here's scene four. And back to scene one. Okay, now let's try the drive. It's off. Chorus off, chorus on. Delay. Reverb. Okay, now let's go up one preset. Uh-oh, what happened? All the switches are blank. 
Well, that's because we don't have any per preset settings for this preset. So right now we're kind of stuck. This is what happens if you don't use it on all your presets or if you don't build an escape route into the preset. That's why I said that if you're gonna use the per preset layout, you pretty much have to go all in. Now, of course you could set it up so that as little as just one preset is using the per preset layout and the sixth switch could be to set up to bring you back to the regular preset layout. You could also have a bank of any number of presets that have their own per preset layout with the last one having a switch that brings you back to the preset layout. It's entirely up to you, my friend, because you are the master of your destiny. Now you don't have to use switches only to turn effects on and off. Click on the tap category drop down menu. There are 14 options that you can choose from. So if you have the looper block in one of your presets, you could set up a per preset switch to start recording a loop on a tap, then set up another per preset switch with the tap set up as play slash stop and hold set up as undo slash erase. And that is just one example out of 14 options. Now we went over why you don't want to have a hold function on your record button. So you can take a look at the looper layout video that explains that. And for right now, just trust me, you only want to have the tap function. You do not want to have a hold function on your record button. But like I said, using the looper, that's just one of 14 choices in the category drop-down menu. A lot of flexibility here, guys. Okay, I know that this stuff can be way confusing. It's like you're literally doing your first programming job but you're doing it to set up your modeler the way that you want it. The more you do it, the more familiar you'll get with the process. You know, for you gigging guys and the guys that love tinkering, this could be exactly the thing that you were looking for, but had no idea how to access it. Give it a try and let me know what you think about it. Now, next Wednesday, we'll be picking a new preset of the week. You do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week.